All right, this is swifter, <laughs> swifter than fiction, sweeter than fiction from One Chance by Taylor Swift. Let's go. Hello, I'm Becca, and here on this channel, you can find bite-sized inspo mainly to do with Taylor Swift. I've been a Swifty since Taylor's debut album, and I am also a musician who got my doctorate in music in the same year as Dr. Taylor Allison Swift, class of 22. So look out for videos chatting all about Taylor's music, mashups, playlists that I've curated, themed recipes, current happenings, and more. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to react to a few Taylor Swift songs that I still have not heard. A little bit embarrassing. Yes, I have been a fan of hers since her very first album, Taylor Swift, but there are still some songs that are maybe a little more obscure, were not in her original album releases, and so I just have never heard them before. So I thought it would be fun to just film my reaction and share it with you, see if you've heard these songs before, we can react to them together, and just see what we think because why not? And I'm currently working on my spring playlist, my Swifties Complete Spring Playlist. I did one for autumn and for winter, so of course spring is coming. But there are a few songs just that I know are from Taylor's discography. I can never say that word. Disog- discography? Discog- discog- uh, it's so hard. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. Discography? Oh. That sounded maybe right. Discography? Okay. Discography that obviously I haven't heard them before, but I don't know, the titles or something about these songs sound like they could be good spring songs. So I figured I'd better listen to them to see if they should be on the spring playlist or not. And if so, where do they go on the playlist? So let's listen. Okay. The first song that I have not heard yet is... Highway, don't care. Can we find it? This is a collaboration that Taylor did with Tim McGraw. Let's look up and see what this song was for. Highway, don't care with Tim McGraw. Was this like for the movie Cars or something? That probably isn't right. Okay, Highway, don't care is the song recorded by Tim McGraw and Taylor Swift featuring Keith Urban on guitar. Triple threat. Tim McGraw and Taylor Swift recorded their part separately. This was Swift's seventh number one hit on the Billboard's Country Airplay chart. Okay, so I guess it was for Tim McGraw's album and had nothing to do with the movie Cars, which makes sense. I don't know why I thought that. I think because of the Rascal Flatts song, Life is a Highway. Life is a Highway. Because that wasn't the Cars movie. But that is not the song. This is Highway Don't Care by Tim McGraw, Taylor Swift, with Keith Urban on guitar. Let's give it a listen. Mm -mm. Nice beat. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm watching the lyrics just because it's helpful. You try not to think about what went wrong. Mm. Try not to stop till you get where you're going. You're trying to stay awake, so I bet you turn on turning the radio on the radio. And the song goes. Oh, there's Taylor. You, <gasps> she sounds so good. It's Baby Taylor! Hmm. Nice harmonies. Very nice harmonies. Octaves. Very nice. Mm. Really nice blend of their voices. Oh, yes. 
Oh yeah. It's very nice, very nice. I can't live without you, I can't live without you, baby. Oh, baby. Taylor being the last ending there. Wow. I like it a lot. I mean, I like every song Taylor is involved in, of course. But yeah, that's really quite nice. Really nice guitar. So I'm assuming that must be Keith Urban because it's saying featuring Keith Urban. And that was a big feature on the guitar. There's a music video apparently featuring all three of them. I've never seen that in my life. Didn't even know that that existed. Okay, so this came out in 2013 in between 22 and Red. So it was during her Red era. I would have thought it was earlier, like Fearless era. I still need to think about whether it's a spring song or a summer song, but I feel like it could be a spring song. To me, I'm getting the vibes of driving in a convertible on the highway when it's just warm enough to have the hood down of the car, the wind is blowing in your hair, and it's sunny, and the beginning of spring. Yeah, that's what I'm envisioning for this song. I'm going to, I'm going to think about it a little bit more. This was my first listen, but my initial instinct is a spring song. Do you think the song is a spring or a summer song? Or autumn or winter song, if you think that. That's cool too, let me know why. Okay, let's move on to the next song. The next song, I wasn't sure whether it should go on the spring playlist because I haven't heard it yet, is Sweeter Than Fiction. And for this one, I only have access to her original recording of it from the movie One Chance. She did re-record it and put it on her 1989 Taylor's version, but only the vinyl available at Target. And I did go to Target and I touched it. <laughs> it's the orange, the orange um, edition. Oh, what was the, I think it had like tangerine edition or something. It looked gorgeous. I would have loved to have bought it, but I don't have a record player. And also it was like $32 or something, which is more than I can afford. I cannot, I can hardly even afford Apple music to listen to her music all the time. So <laughs> this is all I have access to right now. I feel a little bit bad playing it, but I don't think she'll mind. But if you have access to the Taylor's version, obviously, of course, listen to that one. I think it'd be cool to also hear the original and then compare that to the new one. I'm sure a lot of people have heard this. I just have never, I've never heard it yet. But apparently it was for the movie, One Chance, Sweeter Than Fiction is a song by Taylor Swift, written and produced by Swift and Jack Antonoff. Obviously, anything that Taylor and Jack collaborate on is going to be incredible. And then the, oh yeah, it is, the re-recorded version is a bonus track on the Tangerine edition. She viewed the film as a love story in addition to a chronicling of a man's road to success and approached the songwriting process from that perspective. I'm very inspired by the concept of love. And this movie is, in a lot of ways, a story of the love his wife has for him. That was a story that hit me and really affected me. I wanted to tell a story musically from that perspective. She has a lot of songs that reference storytelling and books and chapters and writing, all those kinds of things. So even just the title gives those kinds of vibes. So I'm excited, especially with Tortured Poets coming out and everything. I don't know. I feel like she's in this kind of 
era, particularly of songwriting, storytelling. I mean, obviously, folklore evermore was definitely that as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering. Let's listen. This is swifter, <laughs> swifter than fiction, sweeter than fiction from One Chance by Taylor Swift. Let's go. like those 80s movie vibes from the beginning. Interesting. Interesting. I need like a musical analysis of this. You hit the ground running and now you're on to something. I, I, I said, what a sight, what a sight when the light came on. Prove me right, prove me right, then you prove them wrong. And in this perfect weather, it's like we don't remember. rhythmic aspects. so much it's so good and the key changes are so interesting it's written in b major and it switches to d flat for the choruses and the bridge it's just it's just interesting because a lot of times the song will be in one key and then key change you know for the last bridge chorus or something like that towards the end just once but this is like kind of going back and forth it's interesting i haven't heard a lot of sound songs like that I'm really curious, should I watch the movie One Chance? Like, is it a cute movie? It's British, so I probably would like it, right? James Corden becomes a singing sensation after appearing on Britain's Got Talent. Wait, is this a movie about Paul Potts? Because I obviously I've heard of that story. It is, it's the true story of Paul Potts. Oh my gosh, I think I need to see this movie. I am feeling spring for this song. I need to listen to it again. Hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground. But it's sound to me it's and the rain we thought would last forever. Yeah, this is this is a spring song. This has gotta be a spring song. So cute. It's so cute. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Oh. Okay, I cannot believe I went so many years of my life without this song in my life. I need to get me a vinyl record player and then the Tangerine edition of 1989 Taylor's version. Someday I will blast the song on a vinyl record. All right, there was one other song that I wanted to react to that I thought should potentially be in my playlist. Birch from Big Red Machine, because that could be a spring song. I mean, Birch is nature, right? It's from the album How Long Do You Think It's Gonna Last from 2021. She worked on the song with Aaron Desner and Justin Vernon. So they did Renegade as well, which is such a good song. Okay, let's just, let's just give it a listen. This is Birch featuring Taylor Swift by Big Red Machine. Hmm. It reminds me of Renegade from the opening. Interesting. Oh, nice strings. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Renegade. Oh, very nice. instrumentals so nice and there's like a reedy thing going on it's beautiful so good at doing like that harmony that's like just floating above. It's so beautiful. Mm. Oh, the atmospheric. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. She's not written here. It doesn't have her under written by. It's beautiful. This should be a spring song. It's not a summer song. But I'm also wondering if it should be like an autumn song. Mm, I love the like little jazzy. I think it's a sax. Yeah, that must be a saxophone. Just like the reedy quality that he's playing it or whoever's playing the sax. So nice. It's just lovely. Really nice outro. Long. Can just vibe. Oh, it's beautiful. Very like atmospheric. Very good at just creating that soundscape. Just beautiful. It's got quite a nostalgic feel to it, which I often associate more with 
autumn and winter and, you know, feelings of sort of loss and reflection. Of course, that goes across all seasons, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. But it's beautiful. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Renegade, which makes sense because it's from the same album. Well, those are my reactions to some Taylor Swift songs that are no longer missing from my Taylor Swift listening experience. It's very nice to have those holes finally filled. They're so good. Of course they are. I'm not surprised. But, you know, you never know how you're going to react to a song. But I loved them all. They're great. Cannot believe it took me this long to give them a listen. So... Look out for my spring playlist. Let me know your thoughts about these songs, if you've heard them before or not, what your initial reactions were to them, how they rank on your Taylor Swift full ranking of songs. I've been thinking about doing a video ranking all of my Taylor Swift songs because with Tortured Poets coming out next month, I kind of want to do a full ranking just to see where I'm at before a whole new album is added to the mix. I've never done a full ranking. I've done some individual albums. I definitely did 1989. I think it'll be really hard to rank them, but I'm also really curious about how I would do that. So maybe I'll record a video about it, doing it. I remember Bonnie and Emily making a video about it years ago, I think, on their channel, Chats and Reacts, and it was just really fun to see, you know, the process of them going through and ranking and see the final outcome. So I'll definitely do a ranking of all Taylor Swift songs and at least share it on my Instagram stories. But let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video about it. And thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed this video, it would be a huge help if you could give it a like. And subscribe to the channel for more bite-sized Swifty inspo. You can also check out my Instagram and my Dear Reader newsletter for even more fun Swifty content. I'm so happy to connect with you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!